Hello, I'm Eric Singer, live on our Gazette News Facebook platform, and I just wheeled in here to the UC Health Urgent Care off Janitel, a beautiful place, and you're listening to some music with Dr. Ian Tolbert. We're going to be talking about some flu-fighting facts in just a few moments, but as we do all the time, every Friday during the noon hour, we make sure that we bring you some exciting Southern Colorado entertainment. And Dr. Tolbert is some pretty exciting Southern Colorado entertainment. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about yourself, Dr. T. Well, uh, I am not, I hate to say, not originally from this area, but this is something now I'm going to call home. I have been here for about eight or nine years. Absolutely love it. And, uh, you know, I've been in, interested in music like most folks for most of my life and uh, been around as much as I possibly can. Try to dabble a little bit with singing and, and playing guitar, and now we're here. All right, and you know, but you also have another claim to fame, which is you are a champion pole vaulter. Because that, if you read my story on Gazette.com, you'll learn a little bit more about that. But tell us a little bit about that. About that, well, I started in high school. It got me into college. I was even thinking a little bit further in terms of the Olympics. But as as things happen, injuries. Unfortunately, something bad happened there. Uh, I rejoined the master's program, and so right now I'm currently ranked second in the world in uh, my in my division, uh, second in the U.S. as well. And uh, hopefully, uh, in these upcoming weeks, it'll get ba raised back up to number one. So it's just something great time. It's fun. A little, little bit of energy boost too. All right. Speaking of energy boost, it's noon time. It's take ten. So without further ado, Dr. Ian Tulberg here at UC Urgent Care. Awesome. Thanks, sir. Almost heaven, West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountain, Shenandoah River. Life is old there, older than the trees, younger than the mountains, growing like a breeze. Wonderfully done. Thank you. 
And if you're just joining us, I'm Eric Singer, live on our Gazette News Facebook platform, and I'm here at the UC Health Urgent Care off Janetel, where we have the singing Dr. Ian Tolberg, and we have been talking about the singing, but we're also talking about flu-fighting facts. And first, I want to give you, you have some fans, I just want to make sure you know that. <laughs> Wonderful, have, thank you. We have Jim from, I hope I pronounced this right, Kenai, Alaska. He's a, he likes what you're doing here. Bill Thanks, Bogren Jim. likes what you're doing here. He says, sing it, Doc. Great bedside manner. Cynthia from Woodland Park says hello as well. And Nadi, who is from Macedonia, watching as always every Friday. Wonderful. Thank uh, you. All right. So if you have any questions for Dr. Uh, T, you can go ahead and just send them to me, and I'll be happy to ask. But first, the biggest question has got to be uh, difference between the flu and the cold. How do you know the difference? Well, you know, sometimes it's actually very difficult to tell the difference. Some of the big things, though, is we've all had we've all had the common cold. You feel a little bit crummy. You have a little bit of a runny nose, maybe a little bit of a cough, sometimes even a fever. When you're looking at the flu, you're really looking at some more significant symptoms, so pretty bad headaches, the body aches are just killer, and then you might even have some GI upset, some nausea, vomiting in there as well, and certainly a pretty bad cough. You can have some other things, a sore throat and just really pretty extreme fatigue. But one is just, yeah, it makes you feel pretty bad. The other makes you feel like you're hit by a truck. What can you do about it if you know that you have the flu? Right. Well, first, if you think you have the flu, come in as soon as you can. The problem with the flu and the cold is a cold, we can really help out with symptoms anytime you have it. But when you're talking about the flu, you need to be seen within 48 hours, and then that, that way we can get you going on the right type of medications. If it's past that 48 hours, unfortunately, a lot of those medications are just not as good as they would be if you started earlier. So if you think you have it, come on in, let us get you checked out and treat it appropriately. And you know, a lot of people are saying, well, wait a second, Eric, um, why are you here at UC Health Urgent Care? Why are you here specifically when typically you do you know music a whole segment of it well the reason why is because i had a couple of guests who called me and said guess what i believe we i have the flu so i can't make it so i said you know what a lot of folks are having the flu these days we have a, a larger increase in, in numbers as far as flu so i said you know what we need flu fighting facts i know people are saying flu fighter you know like flu fighter but you know sometimes you got to do uh, erica who's uh, behind the camera today just goes is that one of your dad jokes is that is that what's going on here and i said okay yeah i guess so but that's the reason why we have it today we're here at uc health urgent care because we want to make sure we know the differences what you can do and you know let's get some more facts about this because sure. this year has been a rough flu season let's talk about that it has been it really seems to be striking things a little bit earlier than normal you know last year we actually had people going into may and that's pretty typical but boy this flu hit and it hit hard so when you're looking at our our census even in the hospitals between our memorial north and memorial central campuses we have hospitalized 165 people compared to 73 people at the same time last Last year so it's hitting really hard even normal folks that are normally uh, uh, in pretty good health boy it, it can just take right out of you okay another another concern this year as has been in previous years but this year especially is the efficacy how effective mm -hmm. is the flu vaccine this year well, I'll, I'll put a couple different points in there, if you will. Uh, so the, the efficacy right now, the FDA is saying that it's too early to really tell how good this is going to be in the United States. However, Australia is a bit ahead of us just because they're in the Southern Hemisphere. And so their documentation, their reports are showing that the flu vaccine this year is going to be about 10 percent effective. Now, in past years, you're looking at maybe 39, 40, 45 percent. So this year looks like the, the looks like the vaccine just might be a little bit under what we would really appreciate. OK, so that would make the average person think to themselves, do I still need a flu shot then? Yes, please get the flu shot. It's not too late right now. And I'll give you a really good reason for it. So when you look at some of the unfortunate deaths that have happened, possibly related to the flu, those, unfortunately, that did pass away, 85% of them did not get the flu shot. And so when you're talking about the flu vaccine, it looks like it might actually lessen some of the symptoms a little bit, and it might have a little bit of protection against those really severe strains. Is there anything you'd like to add about flu fighting? Flu fighting. I, I will say this. I would love to coin that if you're, if you're going <laughs> to let me, that it's mine, and I'll go ahead and take it from there. Absolutely. And let me go ahead and look down and see who's been writing to us. Um, well, you know what Jess, Jesse says, remember, um, let's see, uh, Frank Martinez is writing, I'm here still fighting for four weeks, the flu. 
Is that something that's common? No, really not. For about five to seven days is the typical span. And so I've got to say, you might not have the flu. There might be something else going on. The other thing, though, is there are different strains of the flu out there. You might get one. You might get another right after that. There is a flu A and a flu B, all kinds of different strains. We unfortunately had a patient come in who tested positive for both flu A and flu B. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, that can just wipe it out. So you, you might have something else going on a little bit. It may have been started with the flu, may have turned into pneumonia. You may have caught some other things as well because we are in cold and flu season. So there are a lot of other things that you can get. So bottom line, get the flu shot. Absolutely. It's still a very viable alternative than being laid up for days. Absolutely. Get the flu shots. And one thing I really need to stress, wearing masks. If you're going to be in a big crowded area, wearing a mask would be a great thing to do. Hand washing, hand washing, hand washing. That's the biggest thing you can do to try to help protect yourself as well as others. You're not just in this for yourself. You're in it for maybe the 85-year-old right down the street who just can't get out and get the flu shot. They, their health may be a little bit down. You getting the flu shot can actually help them as well. All right. Thank you very much, Dr. Ian Tolberg. UC Health Medical Director here at the Urgent Care. Wonderful place, great music, a lot of good flu-fighting facts. And I'd like to remind you, if you are like Dr. Tolberg and you believe that you have what it takes to be able to wow a crowd, you don't have to talk uh, with, about flu-fighting, I promise. You can talk about other things as well. You don't have to have an MD in front of your name. I just want to hear from you. If you're a musician, magician, uh, juggler, poet, playwright, whatever you do to wow a crowd, I want to hear from you. Eric Period Singer at Gazette.com. Eric Period Singer at Gazette.com. I want to hear from you so we can have you on a future Take 10. And I'd also like to thank, as I always do, behind the scenes, the people who make it all happen. Okay, come on out. Yes, come on, Erica. Erica Felion, here she goes. She, she's a little stuck. There we go. Come in front. There we go. Erica Felion behind the camera. And of course, thank you. And I'd like to remind you something else, too. The fact is, we here at the Gazette, we don't just talk the talk, we walk the walk with Take 10, promoting Southern Colorado Entertainment. And this is just one of the many ways that we do it. So until next time, thank you again, Dr. T. Thank you so much, Eric. Appreciate Talbot. it. Thanks for inviting me. Until next time, same bad time, same bad place, Fridays. Take 10 during the noon hour live on our Gazette News Facebook.